Hey guys, it's Benjamin with Benjamin Exotics. And in today's video, I'm showing you guys a new ball python pickup that I just got from the Cincinnati or Sin City Reptile Expo just yesterday. And boom, check that out right there. So this is actually a calico female ball python. And I, like I said, I picked her up from the Cincinnati Reptile Expo. And she is just absolutely amazing. Now, she does have some dried scales. Uh, just basically from a bad shed on her head and a few going down her back and that'll fix next time she sheds but hopefully you guys can get it on the camera take a look at the just white on the sides of that girl hopefully it's not focusing on my face anymore hopefully it's focusing on the snake but this is going to be in my opinion a very high white calico and right now you aren't seeing too much white come through but all of that sort of yellow and pink that you see in the sides of that girl are all going to turn to a really nice clean white as an adult. Now I got this girl from a guy that I had a partial credit with so I actually got a really good deal on this girl which was awesome and this was honestly the best calico that I've seen at the entire show. One of the best calicos that I've seen in a very long time. Most calicos nowadays aren't really the highest white because they're not really line bred I guess you could say too much. But with this girl, we'll have to do some B-roll, but I mean, the colors on this girl are just amazing. The whites going down her sides are exactly what I'm looking for, and you can even see on her tail how all the alien heads seem to be pretty busied throughout the front of the snake. So if we, like, if we look at her right here, you can see that the alien heads tend to throw the different pattern and stuff going through the black on her back. But when you get down to her tail, not only do you see the nice highlighting and sort of flaming and going through the sides on that tail, but as you can see, you don't have that pattern. It's almost just completely black going down the tail. And on the belly, you can even see, if the camera will pick it up, you can even see some of the yellow and just different colors being thrown in on that belly. Hopefully you can see. The rest of the snake's body, like on the front, is more of just a white, but again, and at that tail, it really does some really cool stuff, and it has like some yellows and stuff thrown in. Another thing that's really awesome about this girl is you can see the highlighting. So if we look at her back, you can see that, you know, she has some yellows going down the sides and around the alien heads, but when you get to the tail, the really cool thing is you can see right above my finger, right there, she has some really, really, really nice highlighting going down this back, and that's exactly what I'm looking for in my calicos. And as you can also see on the sides, just look at that flaming and all of that different, I guess, triangling, if you want to call it, um, just basically like the triangle pattern going down the the back really interesting pattern and highlights on this girl and I can't wait to pair her to some really cool stuff in the future now she's around I think if my records and my memory serves me well she was 393 grams yesterday when I weighed her which was yesterday was the show whenever this video is going up I don't know but a few days after that uh, for you guys but she was 393 grams so almost 400 grams and he said that he was feeding her rat pups I would feed her a little bit bigger than that and we'll definitely put some weight on this girl but as you can see completely calm I mean from being you know transported and everything she doesn't seem to be I mean striking or anything not very jerky seems to be very tame to be worked with a lot from the breeder that I got her from but awesome colors on this girl she's exactly what I'm looking for in my calicos and as an adult I really think with all the pinks and the white and just the awesome flaming on this girl this is gonna be like a really nice almost I guess you could call it trophy calico as an adult I just love the high white coming up on the sides of this girl I mean just take a look at all of the highlighting and just that amazing pattern on the sides and everything this is literally I would say one of the nicest calicos I've ever seen in person and like I said as an adult this this girl is going to be a real stunner if she's going to be like the other calicos that I've seen. I always go quality over quantity with everything that I do. And this girl is a really good example of how putting quality in with food, care, and of course genetics really gets quality out when you're looking at the results of the breeding from your ball pythons. So overall, real quick update for you guys. I just wanted to show you guys what we've been picking up. Uh, it's been a little while since we've done a video, but we're going to have more videos out coming out in the next few weeks. And I think the last video that we just did was also an unboxing, so <laughs> you guys can see we're getting some more uh, stuff and adding some more ball pythons to our collection. And I mean, this girl is just awesome. The other thing that was kind of like a, you know, uh, iffy thing is, of course, you can see kind of the bad shed that she had on her head that we can do some B-roll on and also going along the back. She just didn't have a great shed last time, but that'll be perfect uh, the next time she sheds, as long as it's, of course, a good shed and it doesn't repeat itself. But I mean, look at the temperament on this girl. She's completely tame. She's not striking or anything. She's not like lethargic. I mean, she's just a really calm and awesome ball python. We're going to have some pictures of her up on Instagram, so you guys can check us out at Benjamin's underscore exotics over on Instagram. And that's about it. 
Hopefully you guys did enjoy and benefit from today's video. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave all of those down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.